not been invited to. <laughs> what are you up to? <laughs> yes! The face. Oh, who do we have? We, we love, love Icon TV! Welcome to Icon TV. We've moved on. We're now at the beautiful Refsailöen at Copenhagen Contemporary. And I'm confused. What are we going to watch now? Babe, it's Henrik Vibsko. This is an old fox in the game. And we're going backstage to get a chat with him. Let's go. Come. So I'm sitting here waiting, waiting, waiting for the show to begin. And I see some, I don't know if it's a beekeeping festival or it's fashion week, but I see the models getting lined up over there. Philip doesn't even notice, he's just busy on her phone. Keeping it real with the bees. Go time. Get off your phone, girl. Here we go. I've seen a lot of women of all ages, but this is the first time we see a gentleman of an age. From a distance, it really looks like a newspaper print, but when you get a little closer, it's more giving like coding. And a widow moment. I think we've seen a few of these this fashion Not week. the first time. That kind of print is kind of classic deep scope. Yeah. I heard he used to play the drums and he played at Ruskell the Festival exactly, one. Exactly, I heard the same. And then all over, not a logo print, but a bird in face print. There's a lot of babushka scarves going on. I don't know if that's a reference to the Ukrainian crisis and war. And here comes Francesca Boracelli. She has walked many shows this season, actually, but she's also a very talented musician. I think actually classic Vibsko, both with like the colors, the silhouettes. A lot of print. A lot of print. I love a tinted glasses moment. Like an orange glass, it just makes you happier when you look for these kind of glasses. Raw hem moment, this is definitely also something that's trending right now. You too. I would wear. Green has also been a very big color like the Since last few Bottega years. Did it. Since Bottega right. did it, everything has been about green screen green, but this is slightly lighter. It's Taking a spring in. version. It's a spring version. Oh. oh, here comes the beekeepers, keeping it real. Be ready. <laughs> Also giving like nuns, monastery, I don't know if that's a connection to the music. But also giving herding super William, like the bike helmet. Oh, it's a choir. Sounds beautiful. <laughs> So the show has just ended and we are standing here with Lala, a Rick Owens model and a Balmain model. Lala, what did you think about the show? I know Henrik, so it's very playful and it's very cool. It's a different kind of uh, playful colors, but I like the, the, the details and the way he makes it. So he's a very great artist in that, and his shows is always amazing. What did you think about the whole setting of the show, the choir and... The, the loud drums? Um, I find it beautiful. It, it is something new, I guess, that they are starting to make, but it's always uh, feel a, a certain mood you get into when you see the clothing, yes. We've recently seen in fashion a lot of sort of performance, almost art in, in fashion shows. Mm -hmm. um, 
I think Henrik has done it for a while. He um, does, and he, de he does it also in Paris. I'm do a little trend forecasting before we end the interview. Lala, the shoes are amazing. I, lo I love a wedge. And also another trend forecast, because I've seen you before with the beautiful eyeliner Situazione. And Julia Fox did it, but you did it before, and yours is better. I did it before. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it 200 percent. <laughs> First Vogue, and then Icon TV. I'm patient. Thank you for an amazing show. Thank you. It just ended. How yeah. are you feeling? Uh, I'm a bit released. It's uh, we we made it for Paris uh, men's in uh, two months ago, so it's good to that we now could present it in in a more classical way. So and in a very calming monastery sort of of way. Can you tell us about the choir and the whole inspiration of the collection? The choir came a bit from another project that we've been doing so we thought hey, maybe we should just combine it and get it in. Maybe it can fit in somehow but the, you, you could say the um, concept of the collection is about bridges. A bridge is something that goes from A to B and it's related to our time and what's happening in the world right now but um, also looking at bridges, what happens uh, on a bridge, it's uh, love, hate, but it's also a place where the mankind is trying to take over nature. They're trying to take over where the birds need uh, used to, you could say, fly. Yeah. Uh, so you could say um, the mankind is trying to take over and get a bird in face. I have another question for you. We heard some loud drums in there in the beginning of the show and we know actually, or we heard that you are also a drummer. Is that true? Yeah, I have been playing drums for um, since I was 10, so that's quite a while ago. We like may have heard the rumor, may or may not have heard the rumor that you play drums at Roskilde Festival once. Yeah, I've been, I think I've been playing there five times actually. Oh, five times? That's but a lot. Secretly. Right? <laughs> Not um, as a fashion Incognito. Yeah. Will we see you be playing any more drums? Uh, I have to. I just said yes to playing something on the 19th, so that's in what okay. two two weeks time. So like we're fangirls, so we'll probably be there. Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, no and enjoy Beautiful the rest show. Of the day. Thank you.